Hi guys, what's up? My name is Riley and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a hairstylist in the state of California and today I'm gonna to be doing my salon station tour. If you watched my last station tour, my salon now is so much different. I actually moved in April to a salon in the downtown of the city I live in. This salon is five chairs. It is absolutely beautiful and I am obsessed with it. I literally love coming to work here every day because it is literally just so beautiful. Being here, I honestly have so much more storage than I did at the last place. I'll actually link my last salon station tour so you guys can check that one out as well. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So this is my station. It is super cute. I absolutely love it. It definitely just goes really well with the vibe of the salon. Doing an overview of the salon, mine is that station right there. We do have these drawers. I believe they're from Ikea and then they just have a countertop on the top that goes all the way over. So this is really nice because it is to the side of the client and the client has leg room to do whatever they want. So in this top drawer right here, this is where I keep all the stuff that I need easy access to. So right here I have clips, I have combs. Usually I have a lot more clips in this, but they're in the quads getting sanitized. So I'm just gonna leave them in there. I have my rat tail combs, I have my pin tail combs. I have regular cutting combs. They're literally huge, but they grab so much hair. It is so amazing. Usually I'll use this side when I'm cutting and I actually really like it. And then I also have my shears, my razor, my thinning shears. This is all the go-to stuff that I use on every single client. And then in this one is my obsessive amount of brushes. I have so many round brushes and I would say I only use like two of these on a daily basis. And then of course I have a wet brush. I love this thing and I definitely need to get rid of some. I don't use all of those. And then in this one, I have some of my go-to products. I love the Kenra blow dry spray. I've talked about this in so many videos, but I love this one. Also love the Mr. Smith's leave-in. I think we got sent that, so I have no idea where to get it. I also have like some texture sprays and some Olaplex back there. And then I just have a little disinfecting spray. And then these are the lids to all of these, just in case for state board, gotta have the lids. So now in the second drawer, this one is a little bit of a mess. I have all my hot tools. The reason why they're stored like this is because when I get to this one, I just plug them in immediately. So that's why they're like kind of tangled right now. But I do use my Dyson blow dryer on every single client. I love this one. I have the Babyliss Pro curling iron. I love that one. I'm not super fond on my straightener. It's like the bioionic something. I don't know, it's not super great, but it works. And then I have this extra long curling iron, which I also love for extensions. I have my balayage board that I absolutely love, and I'll even use it on highlight clients. And then I have a pack of the Starstruck Silver Pre-Cut Foils. And I have a brand new Starstruck Silver from our Pre-Cut Foils. These are the pop-up ones. I'll usually use these for highlight clients, and then I'll use these for balayage clients. So now going on to the third and final drawer, like I said, organized mess. These are like a lot of extra foils. I have some Reynolds ones. I have some Ramar ones. I have some back bibs. These are really nice if you don't want to get the client messy. Like I said, some more foils back there. I also have another balayage board, some brushes, just random little things that I don't need immediately, but I just keep in here just in case. And then I also have a little handheld mirror so the client can see the back of their hair. And then this is my little extension corner. I have some tools that I use, some little accessories for after I'm done when I wanna take pictures, some more thread and beads. And then this is my little stash of hair that I have, just in case anyone needs like an extra piece or anything like that. So that is the third and final drawer. So this is my color cabinet and I know it is absolutely huge. If you go back on my last station tour, I'll actually have it linked down below. I literally got a cabinet that was like this big and now I get this whole massive thing. It is honestly amazing, but it has made me a little bit of a hoarder because now I have a lot of stuff. This is definitely all an organized mess, but to me, I know where everything is, so that does the job. This is where I keep all of my permanent colors, so I use a lot of the color gel lacquers, and I use a lot of the Joico Lumashine as well. That's the majority of what I use. Don't really have that many gray clients, so as you can see, I have a lot of like the six, seven, eights, because that's mostly what I use. Most of my clientele is pretty young, so I don't have a lot of gray color clients. 
And then this little thing right here is a bunch of just random ones. I think my old boss gave this to me. This is my little self-care slash hair bin. I keep like deodorant, chapstick, hand sanitizer, a Sharpie. And then there are some caps and a Malibu CPR right here, kind of random. These are my vivid colors. I literally only have three. There's a pink back there, a velvet, and a nightfall. I have a cup back here, which I should definitely take home. And then this is a little color booklet back here for the Joico Lumashine. And then these are my Matrix Demi colors. I love using the 5N and the 6N for someone who wants to go natural after I fill them. Literally all of this is 5N and 6N. Love this stuff. The second row is all of my bleach and developers. So right now I'm using the Wella Blondor most of the time. So I have two of these and I have 10 volume, 20 volume, and 130 volume. I do keep at least three of these at all times just because I go through them so quickly. And then I have my Shades EQ developer. So this is the clear gel one that I absolutely love. And then I have the liquid one back there. I usually use this one for like root shadows and root melts. And then I'll use the other one for just regular toning. And then I have random developers down here. So I have some L'Oreal developers. I have some Schwarzkopf, some Guy Tang, and then I have my Bulletplex. Now, this shelf just happens to be my favorite, which you can probably tell. I definitely have an addiction. <laughs> These are all my Shades EQ toners. Now, I know it looks like a crazy amount, and it is. Most of my clientele is blonde, and I just never know what I'm gonna get, what kind of lift I'm gonna get, what's gonna walk through that door. So I pretty much just have everything stocked. Starts from fives, going to sixes. These are sevens, eights nines and tens and then back here i have some lumashine demi permanents just in case i get something that i wasn't expecting walking through the door i also definitely use these up like crazy these are also just not very big bottles so depending on what you're doing this is probably only going to last you like two or three people i do have all of them labeled on the top by what their shade is so that really helps now, down here is where it starts to get pretty random. I have some bleaches that I don't really use that much anymore. I just have some Schwarzkopf and some Light Master from Matrix. I have a scale. I have a little brush cleaner, a label maker. Back there are my business cards. I have some extra masks, some gloves, and I have a dress that a client gave to me. I really should take this home. I just keep forgetting about it. So that is the really random shelf. And then this one's even more random. I have a box of Pringles just in case I get hungry one day and forget food. And then I have some shopping bags for when I go to the salon store. Up here on the little door of my cabinet, I keep this little Shades EQ color gloss sheet just in case I need some information about what I'm about to use. And then I also have my little apron. It's really dirty, but that's kind of the style of it. So yeah, this is my cabinet. Like I said, organized mess and I'm a product junkie, but that's just how it is. <laughs> so that is my salon station tour. As you guys can tell, I get so much storage. The salon is absolutely beautiful. If you guys have any questions or video requests, go ahead and leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.